It all starts with this protest at the state INEC office staged by the PDP presidential and governorship campaign organizations with a 72-hour ultimatum issued to INEC to complete the collation of results for the Adamawa supplementary election. The state PDP leadership is again demanding the sack of the state resident electoral commissioner for being partisan. What other people are demanding is that they want the coalition to continue as INEC has directed so that there will be peace in Adamawa State because people are not happy, people are disappointed with Hudu and those in support of Hudu. Our, our worry is that while Hudu was perpetuating this illegal action, those that are supposed to enforce the law were sitting there with him and they could do nothing about it. But the opposition party in the state, the APC, are having none of that. They instead embark on celebrations round Eula City in a motorcade. They say there is no going back on the pronouncement of Aisha Tubinani as governor-elect, even though it was illegally made by the resident electoral commissioner rather than the state coalition officer. In my capacity as a member of the APC, I urge Fintiri to be an honorable man to hand over power to Tubinani just the way he was handed power in the interest of peace. We are hopeful to God that the woman Binani succeed during her time in office. There is no any communication officially from INEC to our party or to our candidates. So we cannot be acting on hearsay. So we are politicians, we know the intrigues. Uh, some people are trying to demoralize us, to dampen our, our hope. And aspiration and we will not allow this to happen. I think uh, we should calm down and uh, listen and uh, wait what is going to happen. We are aware that at this press conference, the APC chairman in a demo state denies allegations that the resident electoral commissioner, Baris Dahudu Ari, was bribed into announcing Aisha to be nanny as governor elect. We are concerned with the, the negative propaganda by the losers of this election some of which are that Derek was bribed to make the declaration this is a blatant lie our candidate was popular and did not require the manipulation of the process to win election those who needed to manipulate the process are the ones who wanted Derek to be illegally suspended by the two national commissioners on an observer duty. As the electorate in Adamawa state brace up for the completion of the collation for the supplementary polls, the police has continued to assure Yola residents of the safety of their lives and property. Mary Chinda, Arise News, Yola.